In today's activity, you're going to be testing one part of Newton's second law. To do this activity, you're going to hit the begin button. You're going to pull this hovercraft across the lab table with a constant force. This force will remain constant for the entire experiment. You'll notice there's a little block holding the hovercraft in place. You can change the mass by clicking on the hovercraft. These masses are randomly generated, and you'll just cycle through the available masses as you click. Okay, so click on the hovercraft to change the mass. Click on the hand to start it moving across the table. Again, it will move with a constant acceleration. You're going to be applying a constant force. You'll notice it took time for the little block to move out of the way. In this case, it took 0.8 seconds. From that moment on, you can see its velocity increased at a constant rate. If you click on the arrow to make the graph bigger, you can get the slope of this line, which will tell you your acceleration. Look for points that are easy to read. So if you find one like right here, it looks like you're at about 2.3 seconds and very close to 1.3 meters per second. Again, you're finding slope, so then go to the point where it started, which would be zero for the y and 0.8 for the x. Use your values to get your slope, and that will be the acceleration for this particular mass. Record the mass and the acceleration. Click on the puck to move it back to its original spot. Change the mass to something different. Click on the hand and collect another data point. I would suggest doing at least five data points. Try to spread them out so you get the highest values, you get the lowest values, you get a few values in between. Okay, at least five data points, more is better. When you're done, go in here. You're gonna put your mass on the x-axis. Make sure it's in kilograms. You collected it in grams, but you wanna change that over. You want to put the acceleration on the Y, and then you put in your numbers. When you're done, curve fit it, get your um, graph constant. Okay, when you're totally finished with your graph, you can click on here. Again, your graph is acceleration versus mass. The mass is in kilograms. The graph constant should be the force that you're using to pull it across the table. So put that in here, and then use your equation to predict the acceleration for a hovercraft that had a mass of 176 grams. Now, you're not going to get that same value. You're going to have a randomly generated mass, and please use that mass that was generated for you. When you're done, put all your numbers in, hit submit, and see how you did. If you did well, share it with your teacher. If you got it wrong, share your work with your teacher and they can help you find where you went awry.